Last night, I had a dream about a man who drove his work truck to a cold river and put a giant thermometer in the river. The thermometer broke and the man was angry. A kind man nearby made some comment about all the mistakes the man had recently made and perhaps made a comment about not working with him anymore, which made the man who broke the thermometer even more furious. I noticed he now had a wound in his head. I saw ambulances coming to take injured and weak people out the gates of the work area to a hospital where they would be healed and made whole. I saw a giant lily on the hospital balcony. I thought perhaps a rose would be better for a hospital. I saw that some people were exiting the gates of the work area in a police car rather than in an ambulance, and they were fearfully turning into a courthouse realizing that they might be getting justice or they might be being brought to justice. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I heard a word of knowledge. A man is sleeping with three women, sadly, and there are consequences for that. But believers in Jesus are not under the law, but under grace. Christ shed his blood so that we could be forgiven. He paid the penalty for our sins. I dreamed of a man and his bride, the church, on their second honeymoon in a place that resembled paradise. The hotel they were staying at was called the Renaissance, meaning rebirth synonymous with rejuvenation, renewal, restoration. The Renaissance Hotel was at the dead end of the harbor where my difficult and arduous bike ride ended. I'd worked hard, pedaled hard on that bike as do many civilians working hard at their daily tasks. I'd noticed many veterans pedaling around as well, saluting one another. I, representing all hard-working civilians, may have gone by unnoticed, but when one distinguished veteran passed by in a black hearse that looked more like a limo, he noticed how hard I'd been pedaling. But it wasn't all about work. Fun and fireworks were a part of the journey. We'd had a ball, and it wasn't all about spending money. At the end, we were transported out of the stadium by the Renaissance, by being born again, by the Red Cross of Jesus who shed his blood for our sins so we could go to paradise. First Thessalonians 4.17 says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Harpazo is being caught up, the rapture, rapturo. Thank you, Jesus, for your perfect plan for all of us, for all eternity. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.